Hey guys, welcome back to IDB. My name is Michael, and in this video, I wanna talk about iOS 18.2, and more specifically, the Apple intelligence features coming in this update. So not too long ago, Apple went ahead and released iOS 18.1, which brought the initial set of Apple intelligence features to iPhones that support it. However, in my opinion, and a lot of people's opinions, iOS 18.1 and the initial set of features for AI wasn't really that exciting. And in my opinion, the updates coming in iOS 18.2 are a lot more substantial in terms of Apple intelligence. And that's what I wanna cover in this video. So iOS 18.2 is not out yet. As you can tell, I'm on the developer beta, but I can still give you a preview of all the features that are coming in terms of Apple intelligence. So let's go ahead roll the intro and jump right in. All right, so first up is we have a change with writing tools. So here in notes, I just have some example text. This is something that you may see in like a business email. If I go ahead and select all of this text right here and we click on the writing tools button, you'll see that we now have an option to describe our change. So in iOS 18.1, you only had the option of choosing these, but now you can actually type to AI and tell it exactly what you want. So I'll say make this longer and professional then I click on send and then it's going to go ahead and make that change as I described it you can see it actually made it very long so I think a lot of people are going to like this instead of just having a few set options for changing your text you can actually type it out and tell the AI exactly what changes you want and then we also have another thing for writing tools however this one is a lot cooler and you don't have to have any existing text so I'll go inside notes again for an example and if I click on the writing tools button if I scroll down, you'll see we have an option called Compose, and this uses ChatGPT. If I click on Compose, you can see I'm able to compose pretty much anything I want. So I'll say, make me a party invite for this Friday. Click on Send. Then in a matter of seconds, depending on how busy the ChatGPT servers are, it's gonna go ahead and make this. You can see it's asking for a little bit of information, so suggested by ChatGPT, a specific theme to the party, include RSVP details, and a special activity. So you can tell it a bit more information about what you're planning. But as you can see here, I went ahead and did a, a bare bones invite for me. And this is really cool. If you're trying to come up with something on the spot, ChatGPT can compose it for you, and you don't have to have any starting point. But that is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to ChatGPT, because ChatGPT is now integrated directly into Siri. And I think Siri is finally a useful assistant, and I feel like it's actually living up to the promise that Apple made way back in 2011. So if you go into settings, then click on Apple Intelligence, if you scroll down, you're gonna see extensions, we have ChatGPT. So you can choose to turn it on from the top right here. Also, you can sign in. So if you have a premium account for different models of ChatGPT, such as ChatGPT 4.0, you can sign into your account and access those models. Also, I would recommend turning off confirm requests. So whenever you ask Siri something, if it has to use ChatGPT, it's gonna pop up on your screen saying, I'll have to use ChatGPT to do that and it can get very annoying always clicking on allow. So I would simply turn this off and always allow Siri to access ChatGPT. And then once you've turned this on, you officially have the much smarter version of Siri on your phone, and it can do so much. You can ask it pretty much anything, and if you want to use ChatGPT right off the bat, all you have to do is say ask ChatGPT. Ask ChatGPT to plan me a seven day trip to Hawaii. Then you see you get this prompt at the top of your screen saying working with ChatGPT. And then in a matter of seconds, it's gonna give me everything I asked for. You can see day one, day two, day three. This is really, really cool. And like I said, this finally makes Siri extremely useful. And if you wanna take this text it gave you, you can click on the button at the top right and copy it to your clipboard just like that. And then because it is ChatGPT, it works with pretty much any request. So I'll give you a few more examples. Ask ChatGPT, who is that one tall actor in the newer Baywatch movie? And it gives me an answer just like that in a matter of seconds. Ask ChatGPT to make me a custom workout plan, push, pull, leg, split. And then just like that, ChatGPT with Siri has made a complete workout split for me. This is going to be extremely useful for a lot of people. And then just because I'm having so much fun, I'll go ahead and do one more example. Let's go ahead and ask for a recipe. 
ask ChatGPT to make me a simple recipe for chicken tacos. And just like that, I have all of the ingredients required and the instructions for making my tacos. Like I said, this is going to be extremely useful and I feel like this finally brings Siri up to the level of usefulness where you can actually rely on it to be your everyday assistant. However, that is not where the AI features are stopping for iOS 18.2. We actually have a lot more to cover. The next thing I wanna show you is for the iPhone 16 models exclusively, and it is called visual intelligence. So you know the, uh, the new camera button on the iPhone 16, if you press it once, it's gonna launch the camera. But in iOS 18.2, there's an all new AI camera feature. It's pretty much just like Google Lens. If you press and hold on the camera button, it's gonna go ahead and open up visual intelligence. And you can see we can have Ask Chat GPT and also search the web for whatever we take a photo of. So if I go ahead and take a photo of this plant on my desk, you can see I can click on search and then it's gonna do a reverse image search of whatever I took a photo of and it's gonna bring me relevant results. I can also take the exact same photo and then click on Ask Chat GPT. I can ask about details. What plant is this? And then send. And then Chat GPT is gonna act just as if I uploaded a photo and it's gonna give me relevant info just like this. And Apple is advertising how this visual intelligence feature works with calendar events as well. So if you see something like a poster in your town for an event you wanna to go to, all you have to do is open up visual intelligence, take a photo of it, and you'll have a quick link to add it to your calendar. And then for one final example, I'll go ahead and take my watch right here, just take a photo of it, and then I'll ask ChatGPT for some information on it. So I'll take a photo, click on ask, and then I'll say, what model is this watch and is it waterproof? So as you can tell, it tells me the model of this watch and it tells me if it is waterproof also. This is really, really cool for getting a lot more useful information for stuff around you. And it's always just a simple press and hold away with the button on the iPhone 16. The next AI feature I wanna show you with iOS 18.2 is called Image Playground. It's an all new application and the icon looks like this with a cat for the icon. I think this is a very ugly icon. And honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna use this app a lot. Uh, it pretty much can create an AI uh, image. However, it usually has to be centered around a person. So I'll go ahead and click on new and then I'll just say me. And then, I don't know, let's say in space with blue stars. Click on send and let's go ahead and see what the AI can generate. So honestly, it looks uh, it looks okay. I don't know what it did to my teeth. I definitely don't look like that. Uh, but it gives you a few different options here. Oh my god, it really destroyed my teeth there. So uh, yeah, if you guys have access to the beta and you can try out Image Playground, let me know in the comments what you think of this feature. I think it looks okay. Uh, I just don't <laughs> I don't like how it makes me look. Uh, this is what it made my brother look like. And uh, this is my girlfriend right here. So you can have a little bit of fun with this. You can describe exactly what image you want to make. And I think uh, a lot of people are going to find this uh, quite fun. All right, now time for the final AI feature in iOS 18.2. It is called Genmoji. So it pretty much allows you to generate your own emoji, as the name says. This is, I think, going to be a little bit more popular than Image Playground. And I'll show you how it works. So here inside of notes, I'll go ahead and click on the emoji keyboard and you can see it just to the right of the search bar, there is an all new icon right here. If you press on this, it's going to open up the Genmoji UI and you can describe any emoji you want. So let's go ahead and uh, type in construction worker with Apple in hand. I'll click on send. It's going to use AI to make it. And then in a matter of seconds, it's going to have your emoji right here. And then after it makes the first one, it's gonna give you a few different options. So as you can see, you can scroll through some of the different options it gave you. But I think in the, uh, the emoji style it makes, I think this is a lot cooler than Image Playground. And you can have a lot of fun with this and make pretty much any emoji you want. So here I'll just say monkey jumping on bed with iPhone in hand. I don't know, it seems kind of random, but let's go ahead and see if it can make it. So it doesn't want to make this for some reason. So I'll try monkey jumping on bed. Done. 
Let's see if it can make this one and it worked for this one. So if you make it too specific, as you can see, it doesn't wanna make it. It has to be a pretty simple description, but you can essentially make any emoji you want, which is kind of cool. And I think a lot of people, especially young people, are gonna have a lot of fun with this. So those are all of the new AI features coming in iOS 18.2. And as you've been able to tell throughout the entire video, this suite of Apple intelligence features is a lot better than the initial set of features we got with iOS 18.1. I love the ChatGPT integration. I like how you can get text composed right from ChatGPT. Also, I believe Siri is as useful as it can get now because it actually can work with a better AI model than what Siri uses. Also, I love visual intelligence on my iPhone 16 and some of the image creation stuff I believe is going to be popular for some people. So let me know in the comments what you think of all of these updates. And we are gonna have a video when iOS 18.2 comes out to everybody covering all of these features and also some of the other features that aren't AI related. So definitely make sure to get subscribed for that. But I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like on this video. My name is Michael and I'll see you in the next one.